Hello and welcome to the EduTalk author series hosted by Biotone, Biotone Edu Partner Program and Massage Industry Authors. The EduTalk author series is a bonus extension to EduTalk Tuesdays to further support virtual learning and connect you with industry authors who through their books and textbooks support your career success. Today's author is Felicia Brown, a licensed massage and bodywork therapist, a business coach and marketing coach for massage, spa, and wellness professionals. She's an industry presenter, author of additional business success books, and loves helping others realize success in their chosen career paths. Let's listen and learn as Felicia shares her insights, inspiration, tools, and tips for her book, Creating Lifetime Clients, How to Wow Your Customers for Life. Thank you for joining us, Felicia. We're glad to have you here today. Uh, well, thank you, Donnell. It's always a pleasure. And I appreciate your invitation as well as Biotone's uh, effort in getting these authors to share their books. I, I'm really excited to be here. And to, today's book that I want to share is Creating Lifetime Clients. Um, this is a follow-up to my first book, Free and Easy Ways to Promote Your Massage, Spa, and Wellness Business. And um, I feel like it was a natural extension or follow-up to the first book. Um, the first one was really written with the new therapist in mind or, or someone that was really starting to grow their practice, maybe in, um, in development, in process, I guess you would say, more, more or less just starting out. Although it's a great book for anybody that's looking to grow their clientele. The second book is, is probably more for an established therapist or someone that is really ready to um, work with a, a particular niche of clients. What do I mean by when I say niche? Well, those perfect ideal clients that are the absolute best fit for your practice. If you're like most therapists I know, when you graduate from school, you're just happy to work on anybody. You are um, getting experience and learning with every different person that's on your table and under your hands. But after a while, you probably start or started to notice that some clients were more enjoyable to work with than others. And this isn't to demean any particular client, but rather to say that as you develop as a therapist or really any kind of a professional, you start to realize that working with some people, you just get better results. Not only do you get better results, maybe you feel better as a therapist. You're less tired, more energized. Um, your work just seems to gel with who they are. And you enjoy those sessions more. So this book, Creating Lifetime Clients, is about creating a practice or a business that is based around people you want to work with for a lifetime. I mean, not every person is equal and not everyone's going to be a great fit for you. And when I say not equal, I mean in terms of their, their fit for your practice and your style of work. We've all had clients that we knew just a terrible fit for us, whether it was a personality clash, maybe our schedules didn't work, maybe the type of work that they needed was just something you don't like to do or aren't good at. And so for whatever reason, it was just a mismatch. What I'm talking about building is a practice that is filled with people you just jive with. You know, you're like peanut butter and jelly. You work together. It's a natural fit. So one of the things that this book focuses on is finding your ideal clients. There's actually a narrative in here that I wrote. It's in, it's in the other book too, but it's focused on a bit more in this. There's a narrative in here that I wrote about my ideal clients that describes exactly who it is I love working with. And I want to share this with you so that you too will think about who it is exactly that you want to work with. For example, I know that my clients like getting massage for pain relief, relaxation, and pure enjoyment. Your clients might be interested in improved sports performance, perhaps if you work with golfers or tennis players. Doesn't really matter, but the point is you have to figure that out. One of the biggest secrets that I've found um, helps people get clients to come back, something that's talked about in book number one, is 
working with the right clients to begin with. When you have clients that are your ideal fit, it's so easy to get them to come back. But it does some t- take some work to figure out exactly who those people are. So this book really helps, will help you figure out who it is that you're looking for and do things that not only attract them, but also help them feel like they belong with you and to win them over for the long haul. Uh, an example of this might be um, just getting to know those special little things that they happen to like. Perhaps their favorite aromatherapy scent or the type of pillow that they like under their feet. Um, one thing I do for my clients is um, follow up with reminder calls or texts or emails, whatever it is that happens to suit them. So there's lots of little trip uh, trips, <laughs> tricks, tricks and ideas of ways to cater to these clients and absolutely wow them. Another thing that I do, I've got to reach over and get this to show you and this. There's copies of these in the book, but one thing I do is I share little positive thought cards. Well, that, that one's not so good. You can't tell what the picture is here. We'll pick one from another one of my books, but you can see this little card has a pretty little sunflower on it. And then on the back, it has an inspirational quote. So something that I started doing years ago was giving these cards out to my clients before the session. And it's one of those things that really helps connect me with people in a special way and helps them to bond with me Um, So they want to stick with me for a lifetime. One other thing that's in this book is a chapter on how to fire clients. So if you have some non-ideal clients in your practice and you've been looking for some solutions on how to uh, shift them somewhere else, well, then this is a good good resource for you as well. And um, one of my favorite things about this book is there is a bonus interview in here with Benny Vaughn, sports massage legend and longtime therapist. And like me, Benny has many clients that have, with, have been with him for practically his whole career. So he's got some great insights to share. And it's a really wonderful addition. If you're interested in learning more about this book, or learning more about working with me as a coach, for example, um, then you can just go to my website that's down here with my name, feliciabrown.com. And the book's also available on Amazon. If you want to just go right there, you can just search for me or search for creating lifetime clients. Um, So hope you'll check it out. And if you have questions or if I can be of help, please don't hesitate to reach out. Well, thank you, Felicia. And, And, you know, I was chuckling because during the talk, you would say the other book or the first book. So uh, why don't you turn around and grab oh. the first book and let's share it. Well, that's a good idea. You know, I, I apologize. I think everybody can see what's behind me, but the first book that came out was free and easy ways to promote your massage spa and wellness business. And it's all about getting new clients and keeping them. As I was referencing, this book is really about refining your practice, refining your clientele so that you can love every single day at work and love every single client you're seeing. And you really gave some good tips on, you know, creating and and let's say it as competitive point of difference. You're, you're, You're really building the relationship with the client, not only by the treatments you provide, but by making it more personal so that you you are both rewarded. You as the therapist are rewarded and the client is rewarded. And that that creates a solid relationship in in any business really. But um, it's great that you're pointing that out to people as they're getting started. Well, I'll tell you one one of the things that Benny talked about when I interviewed him and um, that I use is candy. Now, you might think as a massage therapist, every we're supposed to be healthy. And what does candy have to do with a massage? I know Benny uses, uh, keeps a certain kind of special ginger chews in his office that he says his clients absolutely love. And one of the stories in here is about the lifesaver lady. And um, it's kind of funny, but I'll just say that people are really loyal to things beyond the massage. You might be surprised at the little special touches that you add that keep them coming back 
as much as, or perhaps even more than your actual massage. So, you know, when you have, when you have these relationships with clients and you get to know the, their little preferences and things that they like, you can win them over with a lot of things besides just your hands, just saying. <laughs> well, great points, great points. And simple as they are, they build business. So um, that's wonderful about the books and that people can contact you through your website with any questions. Thank you for being a part of our author series. Much appreciated and hopefully we'll see you in EduTalks in the, in the next coming months. Okay. Definitely. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.